Weapon Air here, and I wanted to do another video gear review. And this right here is on a new product that was well, new to me. And they're, it's Menon Color Temperature Cards. And these are really pretty cool, really. Now, the reason why they're cool, and, and I always show the brochures because that way you get to see a little bit what they're talking about. There are instructions and directions, and the instructions and directions take about three lines to figure out how to use these things out. I mean, it, it's extremely easy, and the results are spectacular. Now, normally, everyone needs to color balance a camera. Every camera has a, a white balance. And if you notice this block behind me, this one right here, it's a piece of foam board. And it's white, obviously, it's a white foam board. And the reason is that I want to go ahead and color balance the images you're, you're seeing here. I color balance that in post-production. And the reason I do that is I want to make sure everything is the correct color. Skin tones and everything like that. You don't want your, your white shirt to be a dingy gray or anything like that. So you do a color correction. Just because you're taking a, you know, using a camera, taking a picture, or doing video does not mean you're going to get the, the actual color. And the reason why is because it depends on your lighting. Above me I got incandescent light bulbs. In front of me I got fluorescence. They both use different uh, temperatures. Not temperatures of heat, but color temperatures. And that's basically what we're going to be getting into. When you're taking a picture of something with a well, DSLR, such as my Casio EXF1 Pro. This is the camera I use for all the high-speed photography and I love it to death, but they no, long, no longer make it. They still make a, the Casio and they still make uh, the other models, the lower models. They just don't make any of the big models like that anymore. Now, normally with a video in post-production, you want to go ahead and you want to color correct off a of white because you, the camera knows what white is and you know what white is, so you know what what shade you're going to get when you go ahead and you, you're trying to color correct for the image. Now, but for a still camera, you typically use a gray card. And it has a little bit different uh, result. Or actually, the result is the same, but it, they use it for a different purpose. And I'm not going to get into that because there's plenty of YouTube channels that can go ahead and get into real big detail about gray cards and white cards. I'm only going to be talking about YouTube and not in the professional world. Now, the whole point of the of these is color correction. So as you notice, I have the one <laughs> I have the one right there that's on my bench. But if I go someplace, I don't have that white reference. So I take one with me, and I, I take this one with me. This comes in a case. And you go ahead and you drag it, drag it with you, and it's got the, the gray side and it's got the white side. Normally what a, a professional photographer would do is, you know, they would take the gray card and they would put that in the scene, take a picture, and then remove the gray card and take another picture. And then that way they can go ahead and, be, between the two, they, they'd be able to do the color correction. Now, you know, these work really good. This is, these are really good products. And you can do the same thing with a white piece of paper. You really can, which is why I got the, the white foam board. Foam board works out perfectly. You can use the white foam board not only for uh, white balance, but you can also use it as a reflector. And well, maybe I can show you again here. <clears throat> Here's the white. If you go ahead and angle that differently, you're going to catch like the light above. You're going to go ahead and catch that underneath you, underneath your chin and stuff like that. And it's going to fill in the shadows. Now, I got actually one. I have one that sits on my bench here. I got a bench folding table, actually, that's right in front of me. And on that, I keep um, a silver reflector. And it's not a professional model or anything like that. I'll do a video just on that one. It'll probably take 20 seconds. And so I use it to fill in from the bottom. So I got lights directly forward. I got light from the you know, normal room lights coming down. But my lights are different temperatures and they're different colors according to video and, and pictures. So I color correct off the white to account for that. And you should too. Whether it be for video or anything, you should, you should still be doing the, the color correction. <clears throat> now, back to the Menon. Now the Menon comes with 
a color correction card like this. And they, they call them temperature cards because it, it does involve temperature. I'm not going to get into the temperature because whenever I talk temperature, you're going to be thinking heat and cold. And, and it is, but it's not. <laughs> it's a little bit confusing if you don't understand that the, the, the principles of the temperatures and things. So I'm not going to get into it unless somebody really demands it. Then I'll try to go ahead and figure it out enough to put it in layman's terms. Because it's, <laughs> I'm no expert on it. But this right here is your white balance card. Now they use this one, it's really simple. You just go ahead and hold it up and you adjust your white balance based on the card. This is actually a lot more handy than this. <clears throat> now, and you can see it says Menon CTC, color temperature card. So, now this right here is really handy. If you want to go ahead and, you know, you can put it on a little clip and put it on your belt and Anytime you want to go ahead and color correct, you can go ahead and put this in front. Now, how you would use this is, oops, you would take this, place it in front of your camera, and wherever you're going to, you know, you just don't, you don't place it in front of your camera and go ahead and color correct and then take a picture over here. Wherever you're going to take a picture of, you color correct, and then you take your picture. And it, it stays with your, your color correction will stay there until you change it. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and cover all the different models of cameras and everything like that. If you've got a, uh, a Canon or a Nikon or something like that, then you probably figured out how to adjust for white balance and manual white balance. So there's no reason for me to talk about that. But a lot of guys have this camera right here, the Casio EXF1. And because of that, I'm going to go ahead and cover what this one requires for you to adjust for white balance, manual white balance and how this makes things different. So obviously you turn on your camera and I'm not going <laughs> to tell you how to do that. If you don't know how to do that, I'm not going to help you do this. And as you can see, the camera's on. Now all you have to do is just drop it down to your AWB, your auto white balance, and you go all the way to the end, or <laughs> just the quick way, all the way to the end to manual white balance. And right above that will say shutter adjust. At that point, so for the, for the people that know how to do this, I'm sorry, but there's a lot of people that don't know how to teach their Casio new tricks. And all they do is, all you do to do this is you just take your, your white balance card and you hold it in front of the lens. And you click the shutter. It'll say adjusting complete. Now my white balance is set for my background. All I have to do then is kick it out of that mode and now my white balance is set. This is set for you know the correct white balance. So if I take a picture of it here, white balance is correct. Now let's say you go outside and you want to take a picture of a waterfall or, or forest scene. Forest scenes are really pretty. Um, now, anything you want to get, an old barn out in the middle of a field. Let's just say, you know, you want to take a picture of something like that. But, you know, a lot of professional photographers, they would go ahead and they'd wait for the perfect time of day. And they'd get there and they'd set up and, and they'd do their white balancing off of their gray card. And then they'd wait and wait and wait and when it's perfect, they start taking pictures. Well... You don't have to do it that way. You can use these, the, the Menon color temperature card, but not the white balance. This comes with other ones that you can slide in that holder, and these are it. You can see, oops, <laughs> there's six of them, not including the white balance, and each one of these represents a, a temperature. Now, there's three blues and three yellows, and for those that do understand the color temperatures, I'm going to go ahead and give you that. The, the yellows start at Y1, and that would be a uh, 3500K. Well, 3, Y2 would be 3000K, and Y3 would be 2500K. And I'll give you the blues for those who, who want it. The B1 is 12000K. The B2 is 17,000K, and the B3 is 22,000K. 
Now these these are really really nice. Uh, you, you put, you're just seeing these going, what the heck is that? Why do I need it? Um, you can really, if you like taking pictures, and I take a lot of pictures and I do a lot of photography and, and all that kind of stuff, but I do it mainly for parts and, and things. But every once in a while I want to go ahead and I want to go out and take some nice pictures. Well, with these, it allows you to take spectacular pictures. Now normally a professional photographer, like I said, they would go ahead and use the white card and capture, capture the actual temperature color of the surroundings so they wait the perfect time of day and if they wanted a a, uh, a a morning or a dusk photo they get out there in the morning or the dusk and they take photos well you can do the same thing at noon with these so I'm gonna blow your mind and I'm gonna hold up these the blue cards the blue cards what you do is and it works just the way the other one you know the white balance was you take the white balance card and you take that and you pull it out and then you slide in the blue. Well, I'm not going to slide that in there. I just don't have the fingers for it. And you take the card and, you know, these are like, these are translucent. I don't know how well that shows up, but I remember I look at a black and white screen on purpose. You take the card, you put it inside the card holder, and then you take this, take your camera, and then you white balance correct off of the blue and if you take the white balance off your blue on whatever background it's not going to work in here because it's just too dark for that kind of white balance but we go ahead and we adjust our white balance again we drop it down to manual white balance and we do our shutter adjust and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to get a little bit closer so you can see how that ends up looking. I can see a lot of glare and stuff, but what you're going to notice is we use that B3, and the B3 makes the picture look like an orange or yellow. That actually makes it look like that. So, kind of the rule is, <laughs> at least my rule is, not, not the rule. My rule is, if you want to have your scene a, a bluish, a dark bluish, which would denote uh, the, uh, the sun has just gone down and, and everything has that kind of blue tone to it. Well, you can do the blue tone by using the B3 if that's what color you want. And then all you do is you take the yellow three, or whichever color you want. If you, if you want to, you know, if you want a B1 or a B2, then you take the other yellow one or yellow two, whatever matches that, and that's the one you want to color correct off of. This will give you this kind of a color. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean when I show the, the pictures at the end of this. But the, the blue gives a yellow and the yellow gives a blue. So the yellow will go ahead and if I color correct off of the Y3, probably lost you guys by now but if I do a quick color correction pull it up there click the shutter adjusting complete and then kick it off that mode and I don't know if you can actually see these pictures but that right there should give a blue hue so the yellow <laughs> the yellow makes it blue and the blue makes it yellow and that's because the yellow is filtering out the the yellow in the color and by doing that it turns it blue and blue does the same thing to the yellow so you can go ahead and take a picture and like I said I just took some their crappy pictures I didn't try to take nice ones it's too cold outside and I just didn't feel like walking in snow and getting cold I don't handle cold very well but I wanted to let you know this because if you color correct off of something like this, your image is going to progress. So it's going to present a whole different spectrum of color for you. So you can, you know, during the daylight hours, you can use these these lighter colors and stuff like that to almost give the background an, an almost misty or mysterious look to it. Normally, you would go ahead and you know you'd go right off the white if you wanted true color, 
but you can go ahead and use these to make it look like a morning or or dusk or anything like that you can you can make make this right here look like sunset or or sunrise so you can do that you know any time of day and that's that's why i'm telling you about using the, the casio and using the manual white balance so you can go ahead and do your manual white balance based on when anything you want and it also works that way if you want to uh take a picture of like a flower or something like that and if you got a gray wall right there you don't have to bring a color correction card you can go ahead and manual white balance off the gray wall and then you're ready to go you should always remember you know the camera will take a really good auto white balance but you're always better off knowing how to do the manual settings on the cameras the new video camera that i'm using is, has a lot of manual settings on it and i'm going to try to get the the manual <laughs> the manual white balance to go with something like this and that that's the whole whole reason of doing it because i can take more spectacular videos and things by changing the time of day no matter what time of day it is so i can make it look dusk or dawn or anything like that in in camera and have a better image than i would if i was just to use software for day day for night or or morning or anything like that hope i didn't lose you if you have any comments or questions leave it below and don't forget to rate, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Weaponeer, and I'll catch you in the next video.